Quantum computers are often discussed in terms of their powerful encryption-breaking capabilities. However, no one has truly seen or fully confirmed this potential yet. What we do know is that these machines are exceptionally good at factoring large numbers into their prime components, a fundamental element of many encryption systems. This has led many to speculate that quantum computers could pose a threat to the world of cryptography. But is this truly possible? Theoretically answering this question requires examining the intersection of quantum computing and existing encryption systems. Why are quantum computers so powerful? Their speed lies in the fundamentally different technique they use to solve complex problems compared to classical computers. In encryption, where mathematical operations are exceedingly complex, this advantage becomes monumental. A striking example is Google's announcement about its Willow quantum chip. If accurate, Willow reportedly solved in just five minutes a problem that would take a classical computer 725 trillion times the age of the universe to complete. As a recent update on this topic, a report published on December 13, 2024, by the widely followed technology site, The Verge quoted Google's quantum AI director. He stated that the Willow chip is not capable of breaking modern encryption systems, seemingly alleviating concerns. If true, even the most advanced 103 qubit quantum computer, which makes fewer errors than any before it, does not yet pose a threat to encryption. With this reassurance, Let's continue exploring the topic. Modern encryption systems rely on the difficulty of factoring large numbers into primes. Here's a simple analogy. An encryption system consists of public keys and private keys. Public keys represent the encryption, but do not directly reveal the private information. By performing mathematical calculations and applying algorithms on a public key, one can find the private key. Imagine an encryption system where the public key is 35. The private key could be one of the prime factors of 35, either 5 or 7. Of course, in this case, even an 8-year-old could crack the code. But now imagine a gigantic public key with 67 prime factors. Cracking such a code would require evaluating 4.6 quadrillion possibilities. Factoring the number and testing all possibilities would take centuries for even the most advanced classical computers. Why are quantum computers good at this? Their excellence in factoring large numbers and testing possibility stems from their use of qubits and algorithms like Shor's algorithm. However, for a quantum computer to excel at this, it must have a high number of qubits and stability. So far, no quantum computer capable of achieving this has been confirmed, but experts believe that a theoretically advanced quantum computer could indeed have this ability. This is why quantum computers are often perceived as harbingers of major change in the field of cryptography. To date, the question of what quantum computers are particularly good at remains one of the most asked. Unfortunately for gamers, quantum computers are not adept at running GTA 6. Instead, they excel in testing probabilities and factoring large numbers, which could indeed herald significant shifts in the encryption world. This raises a critical point. If quantum computers are truly so adept at breaking encryption, this is not only a challenge for the world of cryptography, but for all digital systems. However, there is currently no definitive evidence to confirm that quantum computers can completely undermine security systems, like encrypted data logs, network security systems, or suspicious transaction alerts. The rumors mostly stem from the theoretical efficiency of quantum computers in factoring primes. Why is this topic so hotly debated? The uncertainties surrounding quantum computers, combined with the misinformation of the post-truth era, have naturally heightened public concern. Still, without concrete evidence, making definitive predictions about quantum computers' ability to break current digital systems is premature. Yet, even this possibility serves as a powerful motivator to enhance security systems and prepare for the post-quantum era. Experts in quantum algorithms and encryption systems are still few and far between. So, who are the authorities in this field? One standout institution is the National Institute of Standards and Technology. On August 13, 2024, NIST published its post-quantum cryptography standards, offering an encryption toolkit designed to withstand quantum attacks. What do these standards include? From the introduction to their publication, NIST has emphasized that the future of global competitiveness in trade depends on quantum technologies while also recognizing the simultaneous need for quantum-level security. 
Their mission is to elevate their nation to this level of security, setting a visionary example for others. This parallels the historical evolution of lock and key technology. As locks became more secure, tools to break them also advanced, creating a cycle of innovation. As the director of NIST Quantum Resistance Systems Division says, you don't need to wait for quantum computers to become widespread to make yourself more resilient. An objective perspective from the World Economic Forum suggests that while quantum technology is still in its infancy, the next decade could see encryption-breaking capabilities emerge. This underscores the potential threat quantum computers could pose to current encryption systems. From our analysis, the conclusion is clear. While a real threat may emerge within the next 10 years, paradigm shifts like these are usually resolved through dialectical processes. That is, the problems caused by technology are typically addressed before they escalate into crises. This natural cycle of technological advancement is evident today in the intense focus on quantum resilience. Efforts to develop systems resistant to quantum attacks outpace the development of quantum computers themselves. Remember the Y2K bug in 1999? Many feared a catastrophic failure of computer systems as the year rolled over to 2000. Yet, when the day came, the world was prepared. Updates had been made, and the information technology universe continued without major disruption. Similarly, scientists are now preparing for Q-Day, when quantum computers could theoretically break today's encryption. On Q-Day, quantum computers will become widespread, and theoretical scenarios may become reality. But just like Y2K, the world is already preparing by making encryption systems quantum secure. The real issue is the uneven distribution of quantum technology among nations. Approximately 15 countries currently possess this technology. Those with early access will gain a significant advantage, while others will remain dependent. Fortunately, recent developments in our country suggest that preparation is underway, though detailed plans remain unclear. In conclusion, when Q-Day arrives, nations and companies must be ready. Those who aren't won't just fall behind. They'll become dependent. That's why taking a seat at the quantum technology table is critical for securing a nation's future and independence. Like Y2K, Q-Day will be a turning point for the prepared, an event, not a crisis.